Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by First United Methodist Church, Maryville, Tennessee. Rules are rules. Luke chapter 13, verses 10 through 17, Revised Standard Version. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called to her and he said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and she praised God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox and his ass from the manger and lead it away to water it? And is not this woman a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said this, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced and all the glorious things that were done by him. The Sabbath day was one of the few ways in which the Jews of Jesus' time were able to distinguish themselves from other peoples on earth. Their strict observance of the Sabbath was an outward demonstration of their devotion to the one true God, Jehovah. Over the decades, they had developed many rules for observing the Sabbath. All of these rules came about with the best intentions possible. They were honoring God. They needed to be observed. But eventually, the rules themselves had become sacred, particularly to the religious leaders of the nation. They were so sacred that they blinded the leaders of the synagogue to the good deeds that Jesus was doing and to his ultimate purpose on earth. Jesus was a rule breaker, especially when the rules would prevent him from establishing the kingdom of God on earth. This passage reminds us in this Lenten season that while rules, practices, and customs are important, none of these good things should get in the way of expressing our love for God and our fellow human beings. None of them should stop us from showing that love when and where we have the opportunity. The greatest commandments are to love God and to love our neighbors as ourselves. The rules, however good they are, should follow far behind those two commandments. Let's pray. Our Father, help us in our daily lives to see beyond the rules that we have set for ourselves and for others, and to catch a glimpse of your love and your grace. Amen. This devotion was written and read by Jim Stovall. You've been listening to the Grace for All podcast a ministry of First United Methodist Church in the beautiful foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains in Maryville, Tennessee. 
I'm Jonathan Jonas, the senior pastor, and I'm grateful that you've shared this time of devotion and prayer with us today. We hope you'll join us for the next episode. And we also welcome you to join us for worship this weekend, whether here in Maryville or by live stream, wherever you are. Grace for All is written, edited, and produced by the lay members of First United Methodist Church. To learn more about our congregation and its other ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.